Tale of the Tape brought to you by Puncher's Chance, Kentucky Bourbon. Both of these men still shy of their 30th birthdays. 29 for Collar, 28 for Martinez. Six feet tall, tall for the weight class. Clay Collard with a one inch reach advantage on the arms, identical reach on the legs. Lillian Garcia, let's go. Fight fans, it is time for the main event. This fight is in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striker, standing at six feet even. He weighs in officially 155 and three quarter pounds. In 12 professional fights, he has a record of nine wins, two defeats, and one no contest, with six victories via stoppage. Fighting out of Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada, by way of Paraguay, here is Alejandro Martinez. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is also a striker. Standing at six feet tall, he officially weighs in at 155 and one quarter pounds. In 31 professional fights, this veteran has a record of 21 wins, nine defeats, and one no contest, with 10 victories by way of knockout. Fighting out of Burley, Idaho, here is Cassius Clay Collar. Your referee in charge, Clay Price. Main event set, Clay Collard in the red trunks, Alexander Martinez in the gray. The winner advances to the playoffs, the loser misses out on the opportunity for a $1 million championship. Simple and to the point. Touch of the gloves and they're underway. Leg kick there from Alexander Martinez. Collard responds in kind. Trademark blitzing attacks there from Collard. He likes to step through on those combinations. Oh! Martinez caught Collard coming in. We've seen Collard put that chin on display many times. Yeah, Collard has a legendary chin, but you don't want to test it too many times. Especially after you tested it so many times against Jeremy Stevens not long ago in the regular season. Another kick to the knee. Martinez gives one right back. Nice little shot by Collard coming in. Footwork by Martinez is fantastic. It's being very difficult to track down. Collard trying to come in behind the jab, close the distance. It was interesting talking to both of these men in the fighter meetings. They both knew exactly what the other guy was going to try to do. Knew that they needed to counter the primary plan. And here's Collard punching his way into a clinch. Just rips to the body by Collard coming in. Clay Collard said he's been working a lot on his conditioning. Said he's in the best shape of his life. Also been working a lot on his grappling in preparation for this fight. Wouldn't be su surprised to see a hit the takedown. Yeah. Here. With a nice body lock there. Looks like he thought about it. Martinez doing a good job with that front kick right down the middle, trying to attack the body of Collard to slow him down. Martinez is hurt to the body. Collard got him and he's cuffing. Yeah. Yeah. Complain his cuff fell out of place or I think he's complaining about a low blow. That's come unwound. A little untaped. And the tape on that glove has become an issue for Collard. He's been pawing at it a couple times. They're going to cut that off, remove that concern. Yeah, that was a right on the shot. right on the belt line there. Collard working that body. He's, that's. Three big flurries to the body coming in now. Yeah, and that hurt Martinez. Martinez really dropping that lead arm now. Takedown by Martinez, or attempt anyway. Nice job sprawling. And Collard is really getting to Martinez's body. He's going to keep going back to that now. A 
Martinez let him see his secret. Oh, here's the takedown. Nice job. Excellent oh, work by Colin. Yeah, excellent takedown. Good left hand from the top position. Paul just needs to be careful leading to the body with those hooks. That hand will drop. You make yourself susceptible to a counter shot there. Alexander Martinez breathing very heavily here. Collard walks away, invites the stand up, cut to the gloves, and right back to it. Good leg kick there, and Collard offered him a jab for his trouble. Yeah, that was a heavy leg kick. Yeah, the lead leg of Martinez, then goes upstairs. Buckled his knee a little bit. Collard, leg kick. Collard caught the head kick. <laughs> Gotta be careful, we've seen Alexander Martinez very creative with attacks off his back. Nice up kick attempt here from Martinez. Good defense by Collar. Good pass. Collar now, now trying to attack the back. He's got in the choke. Oh, no, he didn't have any anchors, so he had no hooks. Martinez spins out of it. Collar had his arm under the chin, but Martinez with the savvy spin. Pollard keeping a crazy pace early again. <laughs> the guy is such a scrapper. He's so much yeah. fun to watch. He only knows one way to fight, and it's move forward, force the other guy to fight. And Martinez always game as well here. Nice jab from Pollard. Pollard's so good at throwing those off rhythm shots. Oh, that jab is landing. Clay Pollard shooting it from low. And and coming up and hitting with that jab. Collard looking incredibly, starting to throw in a little gamesmanship and showmanship as he blitzes his forward. Alexander Martinez times the shot well. Yeah, caught Collard coming a little too aggressively, moving forward. Excellent reactive takedown there by Martinez. Ten seconds remain in this first round. Martinez will finish on top. And round two when we return on ESPN. Round two to come in a lightweight main event here at PFL4. Cassius Clay Collard in the red trunks. Alexander Martinez in the gray. Ready, fight! A very exciting first round. Winner goes to the playoffs. The loser goes home. Beautiful first round from Collard, scoring to the body. Nice work from Alexander Martinez as well, but Fighter performance rating favoring Collar. <laughs> nice right hand to counter that leg kick from Alexander Martinez. Good jab from Martinez as well. Snap the head of Collar back. Yeah, Martinez doing a good job of utilizing those long range weapons, that jab, that kick down the middle to the body. Footwork, staying off the fence, not letting himself get trapped anywhere. Opened up a little cut on the bridge of Clay Collard's nose. Small trickle of blood. One minute gone in the second round. Collard finished that combination with a low oh. kick once again to the body. Brutal shots to the body there from He Collard. has been working the body this whole fight. Oh, nice shot, left hook to the chin. And another. Yeah, that is going to slow Martinez down and open up opportunities upstairs for Collard. A big double by Martinez. Collard oh. able to scramble up. He's going to try to Kimura here and use that as a way to escape, I think. Nice job by Collard. Spinning out. Said he's been working a lot on his judo in preparation for this fight. Worked a lot on the ground. And Martinez said if Collard's going to come forward like he expects him to, he's going to look for that level change and takedown. He's been utilizing it repeatedly here. There it is again. Just kick a to good, the solid takedown at the end of the first round, Martinez did. Collard doing a good job of countering both the takedown attempts in this second round. Collard cutting off the cage extremely oh, well. Oh, oh, nice shot. Oh, oh, big ups. Alexander Martinez. Collard goes down into his guard. Martinez on the recovery here. 
Martinez trying to look for an angle for an arm lock. Pollard follows him. Might try to move to the back here. Martinez in on that underhook. Tries to transition to the back. Pollard follows him again. <laughs> Crazy scrambles here. Now Collard's got Alexander Martinez stacked up. Right hand coming down for Collard. Knee on his belly. Hammer fist from Collard. And now Martinez. Trying an arm bar. Here's that grappling of Clay Collard. Well known as a striker. But first, if he can get, there it is, he's got his. Right leg over, good job. He's able to get out. Oh, gonna scramble. A furious pace here <laughs> in the second round. Collard sits the switch. Martinez rides him. Another one roll out again. Collard. Great work by Alexander Martinez to stay in a dominant position. Martinez hanging on Cotto like a cheap suit. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, he's got that cross wrist as well. Now, oh. trying to take the back here. He's oh, got a tight position. Oh my goodness. Clay Collard in some trouble here. Alexander Martinez. Slapped it on. It's on he's tight. on this choke. Collard trying to twist out of it. Alexander Martinez cinches it tighter. But he's out. Pushes the elbow. He's to turn and face it, turning away, he is dead. He sticks his tongue out. Collard sticks his tongue out. Says, close but no cigar. Yeah, we knew Collard wasn't going to tap. He was going to nap if he had to, but excellent escape. But in a tough position here, Martinez trying to chip away and open up that chin again. Find me a fighter in the world who's more fun to watch than Clay Collard, and I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> a whole dollar, huh, son? Martinez staying tight on the back with that body lock. Collard trying to roll out of it, protect his neck. Collard's got to show more respect for that choke. He's got to be careful, still plenty of time. Martinez what? getting a little high, he's got the cradle, but he's pretty high. Inside of 10 seconds now, Clay Collard will finish the round with Alexander Martinez on his back. Paraguayan back tap. First time I've seen one of those. <laughs> Cassius Clay Collard in the red trunks. Alexander Martinez Ready. Ready. looking to pull nice. off the upset in the gray. Strong second round from Martinez. Collard survived a very serious choke attempt. Martinez survived a very serious left hand that put him on the deck as well. Very close round, yeah. very tough round for both guys in the second round. Another left hand landed on the body and on the chin for Clay Collard. Brett Okamoto was listening into Collard's corner. He's got some insight. Brett? Yeah, Sean, there was a little bit of drama there in the corner. Uh, Ray Alt, who is normally just a very mild mannered guy, very calm in his direction, he told Clay unequivocally, you lost that round, man. You made a mistake. You lost the round clearly. Do you want to go back home a winner? You got to come out and win this round. Have a little bit of fun, but be careful. Maintain your basics. I mean, everything that, that, that Clay was doing earlier in the fight was working. Ray was calling for a lot of shots to the body. He was calling for the calf kick. Those things were working for him. But then, as we saw, one bad moment can slip everything out. So he needs focus, and he wanted to motivate him a little bit, get him fired up for that third round. And those body shots are wicked. Collard off to a strong start in this third round, but now Alexander Martinez once again climbs himself into a top That's position. Potential arm triangle by Martinez. Clay doing a good job of getting back to guard. Let's see if he can walk towards the cage and try to get back to his feet here. Not off to a good start with his striking here, but does not want to finish this fight on his back now, working his way back to his feet. Nice adjustment there by Martinez. Nice Martinez. Martinez doing a nice job of turning the corner, steering him away from the fence. Collard now scrambling him back and using the fence to get to his feet. Collard's got a hold of Alexander Martinez's left leg. Trying to hit a switch, Collard is. Martinez doing a nice job of staying behind him, staying behind those hips. I think Clay needs to keep it simple here on these escapes. I think he's overcomplicating things, overthinking it a little bit with his escapes. Needs to get wrist control, turn and face, get an underhook. There it is. 
Collard now on a single, head outside. Martinez grabs a guillotine. Collard fighting the hands underneath. That doesn't look so tight. He's gonna he's gonna slip his head out. He needs to get some posture there. the crown out now. Yeah. He's got a hand on the grip. Martinez squeezes. Collard pulls the head out. Ends up on top, at least for now. Collard backs off. Let's him up. Two minutes remain in this lightweight main event. I would say that this fight is still very much undecided heading into the final two minutes. Alexander Martinez looks like the fresher fighter unforking some kicks. Martinez stumbles to his back. That was not the punch that knocked him down. Martinez speaking directly to his corner as Pollard walks away. 90 seconds remain in the fight. Pollard continues to press forward. Big right hand. More body work from Clay Collard. Breathing heavily now. Big right hand again from Collard. Lanced off the forehead. Back to the body, Collard with the kick now. Good sprawl by Clay Collard as Martinez shoots. One minute remains in this main event. I don't think it's a good look for Martinez to just kind of flop to his back there. He's got to be careful. I agree 100%. It looks like a knockdown. Yeah. There's a takedown attempt from Martinez. And chin whip attempt by Collard is going to crawl to the fence and get back up. Oh, great job there by Clay Collard. Excellent timing by Martinez, but Collard able to get back to his feet. Here's that Kimura grip. Collard's going to try and use this, get a switch. Oh, and that's tight. Martinez wrestling his way to that top position. Collard once again. He's got the Kimura grip, but Martinez's head is inside. Oh, man. Top 20 seconds. Here. Uh, 22 seconds left. Can Martinez mount some serious offense? I'm uh, looking to set up the switch again and try and get his hips through. Martinez making that very difficult with that cross ride, that spiral ride. It looks like Martinez will finish this fight on top of Clay Pollard in a very tough third round to score, perhaps a deciding third round to score. Three furious. Five minute rounds in the lightweight division in our main event. And Lillian Garcia has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges scorecards. Judge John Marigliano scores the contest 29-28 for Martinez. Judge Will Fisher scores it 29-28 for Collard. And Judge Monica Ridgway has it 29-28 for your winner by split decision, earning three points in the lightweight division and clinching a spot in the 2022 PFL playoffs.